I used to have an irrational fear of deep frying, but after lots of repetition, I eventually got to a point where I literally taught classes on how to deep fry. And I genuinely believe that as long as you follow a few basic guidelines, it's really not that hard. So allow me to introduce you to my 10 commandments of deep frying that will hopefully make you feel like a pro. Number one, choose the right pot or pan depending on your frying needs. This means the larger the food, the bigger the pot, and the smaller the food, the smaller the pot. And since frying requires a high temperature, make sure to stay away from nonstick. Number two, you'll want to make sure that you choose the right oil. And the best type of oils to use for deep frying are those that have neutral flavor and also have a high smoke point. And in terms of amount, when deep frying, you'll want enough oil so that the food is fully submerged in the oil. Number three, keep your heat at a medium. Medium heat is good insurance that your oil doesn't get too hot, plus it'll get the job done. Number four, while your oil is preheating, get out a sheet tray followed by a cooling rack. It's also optional, but good to have a paper towel on top. And if you don't have this equipment, that's okay. Just use a plate with a paper towel. This will be your landing spot where you'll place your food after it's done frying so it doesn't get soggy. Number five, preheat your oil to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I highly recommend having an infrared thermometer on hand. This is what we used in cooking school, but a standard meat thermometer will suffice as well. Just note that whatever temperature your oil gets to, it'll drop anywhere from 15 to 30 degrees Fahrenheit as soon as food is added. Number six, do not overcrowd your oil. If you do, you'll risk creating a steaming chamber, which will result in your food not being crispy. Number seven, use metal utensils. Whether you're using a slotted spoon, a spider, or tongs, metals as opposed to plastic endure the high temperatures of oil. Number seven, salt or season your food immediately after it comes out of the oil. This will ensure that the salt or whatever powders you use actually stick to the food. Number eight, when dropping your food in the oil, drop it away from you. This will ensure that if there are any splashes, the splashes are going to splash away from you. Number nine, whatever you do, just make sure to stay cool, calm, and collective while frying. It's where the more terrified you are of hot oil, the more likely it's going to hurt you. And number 10, when you're done frying, turn off the heat, allow your oil to cool down, and then strain it into a reusable container. Generally, you can reuse oil up to four to five times before you might want to throw it out. And when that time comes where you might want to throw it out, solidify it with fry away and then toss it in the trash.